Hi, so um, I was just taking the quick opportunity since little one has just gone down so I've probably got roughly nine minutes um, to actually film a video um, but just to do a quick um, haul so I visited the mum to mum market um, yesterday over at Lionwood School um, in Norwich um, it was £2 entry and for that you get um, a carrier bag really and some leaflets about local businesses but it's a place where um, other mums can sell baby and children bits to other mums um, so it's really handy to pick up just some of them things that you don't really want to go out and buy brand new because um, babies don't always spend too long in them um, and particularly for me because Tamsin ended up being a lot smaller than um, not a lot smaller but smaller than we ever expected I'm not really wanting to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe for her in kind of teeny tiny baby and newborn because she's still not quite in newborn clothes yet um, she's in just slightly smaller because newborn clothes tend to be around up to nine to ten pounds at the moment and she is only just got to seven um so it was a perfect place for me to pick up some bits i just want to show you what i've got so first things first um i'll show you the most expensive items getting um less in price um and i will caveat this they are all clothes so if you're not interested in a baby girls haul the basically then I'd probably switch off now um but the first couple of bits I picked up was this jewels top this is in size three to six months so for terms and that will probably be around the October November time um I'd probably team it with a pair of leggings um it is literally I don't even know if it has been worn maybe once if that um, it looks pretty brand new to me um, and this was £2. I also picked up this really cute Gruffalo top, still got the tags on so it comes from Sainsbury's. Um, I know I've already picked up some leggings in this colour from another um, like clothing set I bought in the week um, for around the same age group, this is three to six months. Um, I think the leggings I've got are not to three, but to be fair, her legs are really quite skinny, so I think she's going to end up being in trousers and leggings for slightly longer than normal. Um, but again, this is two pounds, um, and like I say, it's still got the tags on, so it's still brand new. And I just thought, oh, how sweet! Um, yeah, three to six months again, so this will also be around the October November time. Um, admittedly, it's short sleeve, so mm, maybe a bit chilly, but if you team that with a cardigan. Um, I think that'll be absolutely fine and we have also got a holiday to Malta um, around that time so yeah that would be perfect. I picked up another jewels top this one um, again it looks like it's barely been worn this was just two pounds um, and off the same store so it's really cute mint green kind of with pink flowers all over and a nice applique flower as well because it's short sleeved it's three to six months again so obviously around the same time period but i was thinking if i team it with um some long sleeved white vest or even like a pink vest or something underneath that'd be absolutely fine for that time of year um and a cardigan on top but um yeah being jewels i thought that was an absolute bargain. the next selection of items it's just easy to tell you that everything cost me a pound um and i picked up some proper gems that i'm really impressed with so the first thing I picked up was this Jasper Conran kind of smock top um, again in three to six months but I thought that'd be perfect for that time of year. I've teamed it with some red um, or some navy leggings because they've got tiny little bows with little red dots on um, and a little Peter Pan collar. It's still got the tag on which was £16. Um, yeah so for £1. Oh my god I just couldn't go wrong but I just thought that was Gorgeous. I also picked up this really cute Minnie Mouse t-shirt. This is in newborn, so she can wear this now. Um, it is originally from Disney at George, so it's in their first size range, so that'll be up to around £9. So she can wear this for a little bit longer. Um, I'll team this with a pair of leggings. I will also show you I picked up in this haul, but um, I just thought that was so, so cute. Going along the same Disney theme, I also picked up this really cute Disney Minnie Mouse dress again this is in newborn um so from Disney at George so 
I thought, oh, that'd be great. We've got a wedding to go to in a couple of weeks' time. And I had bought her a summer dress in 03, thinking that would be absolutely fine to wear. But because she's ended up being so small, I think that's going to be a bit big. So this is now my backup dress, which, yeah, for a pound. Mm, come on, I can't go wrong. Now these, I've picked up a couple of bodysuits. And I actually got both of these for a pound. These are off the same stalls. So this is next, um, and this, this one is John Lewis. But the next one um, has never ever been worn. It's mint green with little pink flowers all over it, and it's like a little romper style. Um, this is in size up to three months. So I thought for summer, this is perfect just to be out in the garden. She's not going to be too hot because um, it's not like a full sleep suit or something, and it's also really, really pretty. And this is John Lewis by the looks of things. I'd say this has never been worn either from the kind of the look and the feel of it. And again, this is newborn, but this is up to nine pounds. So this will last a, a little while too, but it's pretty with pink stripes at the top and a really nice, pretty ditzy flower print underneath. It's very Minnie Mouse-esque, and again, I'll team this with a pair of um, leggings I have also bought, but this is in size newborn. Um, this cost me a pound as well. It is like an inbuilt bodysuit as well, so literally you just have to, which I love because you just have to slip this on, and that is your whole outfit complete. Um, but yeah, I just thought, how cute is that, and how summery, just with a little white cardigan. Mm, perfect. The next item still has its tag on to as well, um, to, just because I was reading the tag. I see this is from Two at Sainsbury's. I've actually seen this prior to having Tamsin and I loved it, but obviously didn't get it because I didn't know I was having a girl. But it's got really pretty flowers around the neckline and it has a cute little pocket. It's then navy and white striped and it's actually an in um, all-in-one like bodysuit. So all I would do is pop her in this. It's got little cat sleeves on so it looks like a pop t-shirt put some nice leggings with it or some trousers or even a skirt um, and there you have an incomplete outfit um, but yeah brand new with tags in size 0 to 3 so this should last her into the summer and I have a feeling um, because she is quite small and she continues to be like that then the 0 to 3 stuff may also see her through to our holiday in Malta so I think there's going to be a bit of a crossover depending on whereabouts she is as to whether she'll be 0 to 3 or 3 to 6 um, but yeah, I loved that and again a pound and it's still got the tags on. This little dress that I also thought would see her through for the summer. So it's like a corally pink. It's, I think it's coming up a bit more orangey on the camera. But it's like a orangey pink frill dress. Um, I think it has been worn but probably only once if that. Um, and it's actually um, Rosher, John Rosher from um, Debenhams. So it's actually one of the designer makes again. Um, really nice, cute dress with little pockets. And I thought that would do her perfectly for the summer with little cap sleeves. Next item is um, a t-shirt from Nex. This is in their first size. Um, again, I thought that would contain that with some of her pink leggings and she could hopefully wear that it might still be slightly too big now but it's certainly something she can be wearing for the next month hopefully um and be in but it's just really really cute the next clothes are always fantastic quality and for a pound i thought that would do her perfectly for now and then the final piece from the pound bin again still has tags on so this is from two a sainsbury's it was obviously part of a two-piece set but i don't know where the second bit was um and it's a long sleeve kind of tunic top this is in size three to six months so again we're looking more at the wintry months um and it's a bit more of a smocky dress but i thought that it looks really kind of jewels-esque again um but it'll be nice and warm and is also very stylish so the final items that i've got to show you were all 50p each um, so you can't really go wrong you can't even get a coffee or a stamp for 50p nowadays um, so the first item are these little red leggings in size newborn they've actually got a frill on the bottom which was absolutely adorable and i thought um you know they'll be a staple piece and can go with so many things and i'm thinking they'll go perfectly with the mini mouse t-shirt i showed you as well as that little polka dot outfit um Leggings, or especially plain leggings, I'm finding are really hard to find. 
So the fact that I got these for 50p was perfect. Um, the label is early days, so I don't know if that is mother care um, or something else. Hmm, perhaps someone else can tell me. But either way, yeah, little red leggings for 50p, perfect. Also got this long sleeved um, little vest. I believe this was three to six from looking at the size. Yeah, three to six from two at Sainsbury's. It's never ever been worn again. Um, and this will just put up with a pair of leggings and you've got yourself like a little mini outfit again. Um, at that time, hmm, maybe a bit too cool just to have that, but who knows, it might be milder autumn days. But yeah, a perfect little staple just for 50p. This is a nice, cute little set. So it's a little pink long sleeve top with white polka dots on. Um, and at the bottom it has this applique kind of bunny and flowers and rose set. And it actually comes with these feet included um, leggings. This is actually a set from Mini Club at um, Boots in size newborn. So it should fit her mm, right about now. She's in small baby in boots at the moment, but. So this would kind of be technically, in the next couple of weeks, hopefully an outfit for her. Um, but again, it has never ever been worn. The lady had said um, she got it for her little girl to wear and she never actually got her in it quick enough because she outgrew it too quick. Um, but yeah, for a pound, or 50p an item, but a pound for the whole outfit. <laughs> Brand new thing from Boots. Also got this cute sleep suit so um, I use these as like her pajamas I don't really dress her in these for the day um, but sometimes it's nice to have a pretty one especially if you're just going to have a day at home or if I'm going to the midwife and I need something to get her in and out of easily rather than a full on outfit then I think these are perfect this is in size 0 to 3 um, so it's for the next kind of well actually two size brackets up because obviously newborn will be her next size bracket but it's from Boots again um, if it's been worn once, I've, I don't think, I don't think it's even been worn once, I'm perfectly honest with it. Um, but yeah, really, really cute and pretty design, hot air balloons all over in pink and purple. And then the final one, which will be for now, is this cute little, um, sleep suit again. This is from M Co, so I haven't actually got anything from M Co, so I don't know how it washes or how it fits um, but this feels really really good quality um, it is tiny baby so in terms of sizing it says up to seven and a half pounds so this is what I mean although I keep saying that Tamsin's in tiny baby everyone looks at it and go mm, well she's not a like a premature baby which is what you might presume um, but actually it's up to seven and a half pounds and seven is an average baby weight so um, but this is certainly something, it's got elephants all over, which my mum will absolutely adore. And it's perfect because it's actually a sleep suit that can fit her now, rather than having to constantly roll up the sleeves and roll up the feet um, just to get her in it. And that is everything um, that I got from the sale. So all in all, I think I spent a grand total of £15. Um, and as you can see... I got a whole lot of stuff for my money um, and there was actually loads more I could have got um, but all rather cheaply and I was trying to refrain myself from going too crazy um, but I believe there is another sale coming up in Cossie I will leave the details either on the screen um, or down below in the information bar and it's certainly something I'll be going to um, because I had a well of a time at this one um, and I can't wait to go to the next one to see what bargains I can get um, obviously being a newborn baby there's not really a lot of toys or anything I can get her right now um, because she's not into a lot of stuff it was mainly clothes but um, yeah the next time I go hopefully I'll be able to get her some bits and bobs to play with um, and that'll be really exciting but if you've been um, please let me know what you've got or if you went to the sale um, or if you're planning on going to the next one because it'll be lovely to say hi um, but until next time see you later mm -hmm.